How to create a macro. Everything you need to know to get started with mEditor macros using JavaScript. Record a macro. To record a macro for use within mEditor, please follow these instructions. On the macro toolbar, click the record button or press Ctrl Shift R. Make sure that you have chosen to record all except mouse keyboard activities. The mouse pointer should then turn into a video camera icon. mEditor is now recording everything except your mouse movements. In this state, you can record most operations in mEditor. For our macro, we will type Welcome to the Macro Tutorial in the text window and press Enter. Once you are finished, press the Record button or Control shift r again to stop recording. The video camera icon should return to the original Windows mouse pointer. You have now recorded a macro. Run a macro. You can run this macro by selecting the option in the macro drop-down list, by selecting the button on the macros toolbar, or by pressing Control shift p You can hide the macro toolbar or add any macros to the basic toolbar one. This macro you just recorded is called a temporary macro since it has not yet been saved to a file, although it is temporarily saved in the Windows registry. This macro can be executed as many times as you want. Save a macro. To save this macro, select the Save Macro command. The Save As dialog box appears. Select JavaScript from the Save As Type drop-down list. Name the macro and click Save. You do not need to specify an extension when you save the file. An appropriate file extension will be appended automatically depending on which script language you choose. You have now saved your macro. mEditor saves this macro until it records, selects, or plays another macro. When you exit mEditor and reopen it, this macro remains the same. Edit a macro and insert characters. If you choose to edit this macro, select the Edit Macro command. To insert characters using a macro, use the text property. In the third line, we will add more text. In the fourth line, we will add the new line method to insert a new line at the cursor position. In the fifth line, the code we write inserts a tab character at the beginning of the string. A tab character is represented by backslash t in JavaScript. You have now edited your macro. You can save this macro and click Run to see the results of your changes. For more macro tutorials, please see the mEditor Help Macro Reference Tutorial. For more information regarding macros, please see the Help Macro Reference and choose any subject on macros you would like to browse. If you'd like to submit a macro you've created to the library section of the mEditor website, please include the following information with your submission. Title, file name, updated, author, website, install, requires, support, type, and description. Please also see the Macros page under the Library section of the mEditor website for a list of downloadable macros. You may also find the Scriptable Macros video in the Video Tutorials section of the mEditor website helpful.